So it's probably too early to be eating sweets, but what we came past this, we couldn't say no. This might be the best one I've had. And I've been to a lot of Asia. I'm gonna get some dessert, because dessert has its own stomach always. But we've still got five more pounds to spend to round this up to 25 pounds. Mm. That's so good. <laughs> So it is our first Sunday in London where we haven't had to do house viewings or look for jobs or buy a toasters or anything mundane. So we've come down to Shoreditch and come to Brick Lane because every Sunday they have a market in Brick Lane um, and we've never made it here any other time we've been in London, even though I've always really wanted to. And from what I've read, East London is quite good for vegan food. So. A lot of this market is actually food as well as antiques and um, secondhand vintage clothing. But I've decided to give myself a challenge today and I'm going to see how much food I can get for us for £25 and see how far that gets us. Because often markets cost a little bit more for food, but also vegan food there might not be that many options either. So are we going to be really under or really over? Right on? Who knows? We'll find out soon, but um, I'm looking forward to it. I've been starving myself all morning <laughs> to get ready for this. sweets but when we came past this we couldn't say no um, they essentially had a Dutch pancake stand and it was vegan and they had all these different vegan options um, it was four pounds or five pounds depending on um, and we went to the vegan Nutella because I love Nutella before I went vegan so being able to like relive my dream in my childhood I'm so excited um, but yes they don't skimp on the Nutella either they give you so much full pop <laughs> Mm. It's so good fresh. Do I have it on my mouth now? No, you're good. Oh good. It's so good. We're just all in. When we see something, you're gonna buy it. The market chooses to do what you eat, not you. The bread's so good. I love this bread. It's all veggies, but not too much cabbage, which is good because I don't love cabbage. But it's really tasty. This might be the best one I've had. And I've been to a lot of Asia. Daniel loves Middle Eastern food, so we've got a little bit of a little Middle Eastern flair happening. But um, we have gone and got a vegan, what do you call it, kebab? It's not a kebab. It's a, yeah, like a falafel wrap. Falafel wrap, kebab. Um, I think it has vegan halloumi, which we've never had before. Um, then we've got some falafel, a bunch of vegetables, we've got vegan mayo, and then we've got a sweet chili and mango sauce on here as well. Um, but I'm so excited to try it. I think this is going to be the last of our mains for today. How this much is that one was cost? seven pounds. Seven pounds. 
It's not a rainy, but it tastes so good. This is the best falafel I've ever had. It's so good, you're gonna like it a lot, Daniel. I don't eat it all. Then at the same place, because they have too many options, we got half a vegan because lamb. So this was four pounds for a half, but we got half because we had so much food. Bring our total to 20 pounds, and this is for two people. We got a spinach and mushroom because lamb with a vegan cheese in here as well. The vegan cheese is really good, really tasty. And I like the mushrooms, it gives it a bit more meaty texture. And obviously I love bread, because bread is life. I'm so full, but we've still got five more pounds to spend to round this up to 25 pounds. So I'm gonna have to open up my second stomach. I'm gonna get some dessert, because dessert has its own stomach always. Let's go. Purchase for the day, we have bought an Oreo, vegan Oreo cupcake. It was £3.50. I also bought a can of Coke, which brings me up to £24.50, so I'm 50 cents shy, but price is right rules, I still win. Honestly, can't fit it in anyway, so more than anything, I've reached my limit in my stomach, not my wallet, so. Okay, this looks really good. I bought this one because it had glitter on it, and I'm basically a magpie, so. <laughs> Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. That's so good. You're dense. That's no, the opposite. Very light and fluffy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's so good. <laughs> really good at describing foods. It's so good. It's like cookies and cream, but it's so light and fluffy. I can't. And it's glittery. <laughs> so you're not full anymore? Not full anymore. Let's get another one. So, my wallet is empty, my stomach is full, that's all I can fit in physically. So I've actually like run out of room. So hopefully this video has inspired you to head down to Brick Lane Markets in Shoreditch on Sundays or any time during the week, but Sundays is the best day. Um, because there is so much good food to eat. I swear at least 50% of that was vegan. There was so much more than I thought. And that falafel was the best falafel I think I've ever eaten. The Dutch pancakes were maybe better than when we were in Amsterdam. I don't want to start a fight here, but they were really good. And then to finish with that, like I was just trying to find something sweet to end my meal with and I ended up with the best cupcake I've ever eaten. Like all the food was killer. And I would say mediumly priced because often markets I find are a bit more expensive. Um, this one was probably average. So not the cheapest, but the quality was the best. So you're getting much more than you're paying for, in my opinion. But um, definitely a highlight of London. I'm so sad I haven't been here earlier. <laughs> like we've been here so many times and we never made it down. Um, and the area's got some cool vibes too. It's very like hipstery, lots of art as you can see, <laughs> lots of street art. Um, I loved all the vintage clothing that you could check out. They had some 80s weird like Michael Jackson outfits and so much food. Like you will 100% find something to eat here no matter what your restriction is. It's amazing. But if you want to keep up with our London adventures, hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time.